everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this boxed cluster stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a very pretty crochet stitch. Uh, it's not quite the same on both sides, but both sides are quite pretty. And uh, it creates these boxed looking stitches, these square stitches, uh, and it's quite simple to work once you get the hang of it. Uh, today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 100% worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a 5mm crochet hook or an H8. You can find links to these items in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written instructions which are on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials, such as this box cluster stitch that we're going to learn to make today. Now our stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of four stitches. So today I'm going to chain 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working three double crochet stitches into the fourth chain from your hook. Three double crochet stitches all into that same chain. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and into your next stitch work a single crochet chain three and three double crochet stitches all back into the same stitch. So single crochet, chain three, three double crochets all into that same stitch. You're then going to repeat that. Skip the next three stitches into your next stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, and three double crochets all back down into the same stitch. Repeat that all the way across until four stitches remain. When you come across at the end of row one and have four stitches remaining, you're going to skip the next three stitches and simply work one single crochet into the final stitch. That brings you to the end of row one. You're going to chain four and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a double crochet three stitches together over the next three double crochet stitches. So looking at our work, we have three double crochet stitches here work a double crochet three together over these three stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the first double crochet stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to repeat that in each of the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the next double crochet, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Once again, yarn over, Insert your hook into the top of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. That's your double crochet three together. You're then going to chain one and work a single crochet into the next chain three space. So you're just inserting your hook into the space under the chain three chain one and repeat. Work a double crochet three stitches together over the next three double crochet stitches. Chain one, 
chain one, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain one, and repeat. Double crochet three stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way across, ending with a final single crochet into that final chain three space. So I've worked my final double crochet three together, chain one, single crochet in the final space. That brings you to the end of your row two. At the end of row two, chain three, and turn your work. For row three, we're going to begin by working three double crochet stitches into the same stitch. So we're working them into our single crochet. You're then going to skip the next cluster stitch and into the next single crochet stitch, work a single crochet chain three and three double crochet stitches all into that same single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across into your next single crochet stitch, work a single crochet, chain three and three double crochet stitches. Into your next single crochet, work a single crochet, chain three, and three double crochet stitches. All the way across until you come to your starting chain, and you're going to work a single crochet in the very end in the third chain of that starting chain four. So there's one, two, Three, this is our third chain, work a single crochet stitch, and that brings you to the end of your row three. That's all there is for the repeat in this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two uh, and three. So starting with that chain four, followed by, and turn your work, followed by your double crochet three together, and single chain one single crochet into the chain three space. Oops, let's go back here. So that was your row two and then the row three that we just worked. Repeat rows two and three for as long as you would like. Fasten off, weave in your ends and that's all there is to working this boxed cluster stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, if you happen to work this stitch in a project, feel free to tag Rich Textures Crochet so that I can come by and admire it. Until I see you again, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.